behind the door, under the bed, probably behind the door, yeah, under the bed there. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. The intruder. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Now, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. Whoops. Scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem. I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. <laughs> now you said it was just up here? 
Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Oh my. Oh, okay, now I get it. He's not here. There. That's where we were. Was this a trailer or a not trailer, but the teaser? Previously. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Where the Clementine says, I thought you were dead. So technically he's alive. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. So that wound or whatever he had on the uh, on the foot, he might have had that for a long time. Because that's another body behind the rocks. I guarantee it. Anyone see him? What did I tell you? Where is it? Oh, okay, he's here. Never mind then. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Man, keep me. He's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Then it is as uh, some of us has predicted that it might have been somebody from a a uh, previous season that shows up, even Kenny, um, either Kenny tell me, or uh, tell me how it happened. He was scared and scared. My uncle. He got bit. Back, back in the stream. Fuck you. No way. Nick, come on, man. Fuck off. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? And you sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Hmm. Yeah, it's either Krista you find or it's, um... Kenny. Or somebody else. Entirely.
See anything? She better see something. She's been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, keep this back. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Hmm. So let's throw it here. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Hey, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. You've got a point. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. They will signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. He's too protective of his, uh, of his little girl, really. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. <laughs> You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Food. Nope. Listen, hmm. what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I don't want to upset her. Me neither. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. I don't know. What do you think? I think we can take him. All right then, get to it. I'll take the big one. You get short. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> oh. Nice work, kid. Ow. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling those two will grow really close?
Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Getting surrounded. Shit. Shouldn't worry about it. Take the two in front, then the back one afterwards. Are you shitting me? I'm okay. I'm stuck. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. I'm behind you. Oh shit. Oh, come on, kill. Oh crap! Oh crap! Move! It's only two walkers, come on! Take the machete! Come on! Give me a signal! Hit that! Hit it! Come on! Damn it! Those controls, man! Smack it! He's gone. Okay, he's still here. Careful, man. Holy shit. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Two walkers and a third one that didn't do anything, technically speaking, and you guys almost died. You see him? Interesting. Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. <laughs> you really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. 